is up, Humanoid Nation? So, I saw the update video of the Fine Brothers. There's so much wrong in this goddamn video. Normally, I don't react to stuff. Well, not normally. I make it a rule not to re-react to stuff. To stuff i already seen. But this one's a fucking walk in the park. There's so much stupidity in this shit. Uh, also, I'm going to be pausing throughout this whole thing, so... It's not like my normal reaction. I'm going to be just picking this shit apart. So just let's start this. Hey, everybody. This video is us wanting First to explain all, some things about React World. The conf First of all, just look at their goddamn faces. They're fucking beat as fuck because they're pissed off that they got caught red handed. They're caught red handed with their hand in the cookie jar. They don't know what to do. It's a PR disaster. Oh, my God. It's drama. The whole fucking drama. They're not truly sorry. Just look at their faces. You just can't. These type of guys, you can tell that they don't really care. They're just doing this just for damage control. It's like, the damage control, man. We gotta fix this shit. It's like, it's really bad out there. It's really, really bad. Fusion and negative response over what this all is has been so... What the fuck was that, Raffi? That's your name, right? All is has been... Look at you. You're, you're just pissed off. It's like, you, you just want this over with. It's like, fuck, man. It's like, I can't believe... We got caught. We sh should have done this better. And Benny over here is like saying like, Mom, mm -hmm. He's just thinking like, oh, if only we got away with this. They're like evil, maniacal geniuses. Fuck. <laughs> He's like thinking like, how can we get away with this shit? It's so overwhelming. And what we've realized is that we completely screwed up with how we originally talked about this. First and foremost, we're sorry for confusing people. We're sorry? You could have made that uh more, you know, like actually you mean it? Well, how did you say it? Let's hear it again. We're sorry for conf- That's not genuine, man. Just look at your face. You're just pissed off. My God. Confusing people by using terminology like our React format. We were never trying to say that every video or someone reacts to something else is something we would try to control. When we Wrong, because you guys have been taking down videos left and right of other people reacting to your shit. So it's okay for you guys to react to other stuff, but when people react to your stuff, that's a big no-no. Really. Because, like, yeah, guys on the internet, like 8-Bit Mickey, not, yeah, that's his name, no, 8-Bit Eric, got the names confused. 8-Bit Eric has his videos taken down because he was reacting to your stuff and you're bullied your lawyers bullied him into taking this shit down, but he's fighting you guys by reposting his shit. And a bunch of other... Oh, like that one guy who had like eight subs because he was critiquing your uh, announcement video. And now he has it up. So yeah, man, you just want to take over the whole genre. Since licensing the React format, we only meant our specific series. Sure, yeah. Your specific series because like you got a try not to laugh challenge. Try not to smile. Guys, you do know this shit has been going on way before you started this, right? Fuck you guys. My God. People versus technology. I think that's a new concept that you guys invented. Yeah, I give you that. Kids react, teens react. The kids react. Talk shows have been doing that shit way before you have. Getting their kids. And like I said in my previous video, you guys have the fucking balls to go after Ellen for something that she did. Just she's probably been doing for years. Like, Jimmy Fallon does it. Even though I don't watch Jimmy Fallon, I know he does it. Hell, even before your fucking time, Johnny Carson had guest spots and all that shit where, like, they showed stuff, I'm guessing. Because I know Johnny. And a bunch of other shows before then. Like, even before your time. My God. This, my God. It's not the overall genre of reaction videos. We do not own the genre. And we're Yet, why did you trademark the word react? Oh, yeah, your bullshit reason. Because like, it's the title of our show. I see through the bullshit. Everyone does, man. Creators at heart and those who know us personally know how passionate we are about trying to help creators. And React World is meant to... Passionate about helping creators, man. But so basically making your own MCN, multi-channel network, for those of you who don't know. While you're on a multi-channel network, how the fuck does that work? Because you're becoming a multi-channel network when you're in a multi-channel network. That's fucked up right there. It's like, do you get kicked out of your multi-channel network when you're doing this? Do they know what you're doing? Of course they may know what you're doing. But you're the fine brothers. You can get away with this shit. 
da- you know, if it wasn't, if it was someone else, like someone that had like 1,000K or something, not that many subs like you guys have, who tried, who tried to do this shit on their MCN, making their own MCN, they would be kicked off so fast. Be an extension of that with us simply providing resources and tools to anyone who wants to go down this path of creating one of our series with direct support from us. So there's no way to go into all of the questions. So basically the only right way of doing your type of series is to go for your way when other people have been doing it for years. Parroting you guys and you don't like that shit when it's fair use. Parroting fair use. Parody man! It's the oldest trick in the game like where people just parody you and it's okay but no, you guys don't like it and shit, cause you need the fucking money. My, uh. That people have about this, but we're going to answer some of the biggest ones that we've seen. Okay, so first is what exactly constant. This guy, I keep forgetting his name, Benny. Just look at his face. He just had enough. He just doesn't want to be here. He just wants this to be over. He's like, man, dude, we have to be caught. It's like, oh, I just want to take people's money, man any of your series formats and the simple answer is watch any of our series that is part of the react world license and that is the exact format it's not one or two elements it's all of the elements of the show all used in the same style and way we've been trying to find an analogy to explain this better and we know that this isn't the best but i don't think there is an analogy to explain this better you pretty much described everything in detail in your last video because your true colors sh showed up, man. Your true colors showed up. Uh, yeah. If you wanted to start a fast food restaurant, you can start one up. Don't even fucking mention fast food, because, like, they may be fast food, but they're way better than you at this point. On your own, and possibly find huge success, but if you love Burger King, and... Don't even mention Burger King. They're awesome Whoppers. Fuck, man. I think Burger King's even fucking... They don't even know what's going on, but even from the grapevine, they know what's going on. Because they're Burger King, they know everything. And they, even they are saying, like, don't even mention our names, fuck. Want to be part of that organization, if you join, you'd be able to get access to things like menu items and recipes and specific logos and promotional support. So basically, every other MCN that offers that shit, because I have that at my MCN, but I never use it, because, like, I really don't want to use it like promote like they don't really promote me that much but they do, they do help out a lot like yeah you're just taking advantage of the naive motherfuckers out there it's like who don't know what you're up against like fuck they hear this shit they go like oh yeah we'll sign up and you're taking part of their money for content that they're making yeah because they're reacting to the same thing that you're doing but doing it their own way and you're like an mcn now taking half of their money how is this not wrong? And these are two totally different routes. Same kind of thing here with React World. You can join and get all these assets and support, or you can make your own reaction video. Only as it gets support, like if you're like, make enough money for these guys. Let's face it, the only way you get support from these fucking assholes is like if you make them tons of cash. Feels completely without us. It's up to you. Okay, so. Oh, the hate in that. The hate. It's up to you. Man, he, he just felt it there. I was like, yeah, he was pissed off. <laughs> He's just having enough. It's like, fucking people. <laughs> so another question is, have you applied for any trademarks? Yes, we have trademarks just like other companies that use trademarks to protect their properties. So for example, we have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash react. So we're trying to protect it and not run the risk of losing our channel name thanks to someone else getting the trademark. Again, this whole React thing has been going on way before you. It's a fucking word. Holy shit. It's like, if you're just gonna trademark random words on the fucking planet, I'm gonna trademark every fucking word you just say here and you guys owe me money. It's like, how do you feel about that? But you guys can afford it and shit. But yeah, to have the fucking balls to trademark the word React when every other person has been doing this shit before you, even in TV eras, like what? Like, hell, how about baseball games? Like, they're reacting to shit. Are you going to go sue the WWE? Because their crowd is reacting to crap, and they've been doing this for years. Hell, NWA, National Wrestling and Science, not the other NWA with Ice Cube in them. But hell, they do reactions too, because the crowd reacts to their crap. They're awesome stuff. But hey, NWA, like George Hackenschmidt and all that stuff, like, 
since the 1900s and shit. Way before time or even all that. Anybody who reacts and fucking shit. Wow. Just wow. But just because we have or might get trademarks doesn't mean we're going to run around and start taking down videos. Wrong. Because you have 8 Big Eric and a bunch of other dudes. Like that. Like I said, that one guy who had like eight subs for criticizing your special announcement video. And now he has more than eight subs because, like, what, last time I checked, he's around, like, 14K or something. Goddamn, that's a lot. But, yeah, you guys are well known for fucking bullying people for taking down their sh your own shit. Like, like I say, it's okay for you guys to react to shit, but when people react to your shit, the bullies in you are out, and a lawyer team goes after people. Yeah, we're not trying to, but we will when we want to. And look at Benny's face. He knows he's lying. And he goes like, oh, I'm not going to even hide, hide it anymore. And the last thing we're going to talk about is if there has ever been a situation where we have to take down someone's video. 8 Big Eric, 8 View Kid, and a bunch of other people. Yes. And look, when you create series and products, sometimes there is specific situations where your content is being infringed. Like if someone freeboots a video on Facebook. Or in very rare cases, if someone produces a beat-by-beat -beat version of your exact series, which has happened to us. But again, with... That's parodies, man. Understand the word parody. Or unless people are actually doing that, then yeah, you got a point there. But fuck, you're not the originators of this shit, because Video on Trial did that shit before you did. Like I mentioned in my previous video, what your guys are doing, taking a bunch of people, putting them in a room, what in different times, recording them in different time zones, or whatever the fuck they did, showing different clips, reacting to it, and then giving thoughts and views after. What does Video on Trial do? Taking a bunch of people, putting them in a room, in different times, reacting to different things, giving their reactions, putting their thoughts and views. The same fucking shit. So don't be all high and mighty that this shit is yours. I'm a fuck. This one and all of these, it's very, very complex. And we also know that there's so many more questions that you guys have, and we want to do our best to answer as many of them as possible. So, Not really. You're not really answering a lot of many more questions after this, I guess. Because look at that thing on, uh, on your sidebar that says, like, no, anyone who has a content ID claim, which will be resolved next week, if you read between the lines, which will be like, ah, unless you really make a big stink about it, then we'll do something. Cause that's what you gotta do on YouTube now. It's like if something happens, you gotta make a really big stink about it. Like, look at NC, the nostalgia critic. He had a bunch of crap going on on his shit. He made one video talking about what happened, and then the next day it gets resolved. So, guess like you gotta make it public now is when you have to do this shit. But yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. We've set up an email that we will be personally checking if you want more. Oh, I'm wondering how many people are gonna spam that email. For clarification, so please write us at askthefinebros at gmail.com. For our viewers, question. Why did you put ads on the Sandy Hook shooting? Did you use any of that money to, for charities and shit? No, you didn't. You made money off of fucking dead kids. And that Amanda girl who, did to, who killed herself. Yeah, man. Why'd you do that? Why'd you put ads on that? That's some low shit right there. That's some very low shit. That's some craft nation level shit. Who are not really part of this conversation and just here to watch our videos. Thanks for sticking with us through this. Thanks for sticking through us. Really? <laughs> Let's see your sub count. Oh, 14K, 590s. Last time I checked, it was around 15. It's still going down and fucking shit. Holy crap. That's a, a, a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. And for everyone else, we want to continue the conversation, but either way, we just wanted to thank everyone for hearing us out. Hey, everybody. Oh, shit. Thank everyone for hearing us out while you be, read between the lines. You put us between... You caught us. You caught us red-handed. <laughs> it's like, we're backed up against the wall right now. We can't do anything. Fuck. We're, yeah. Sure, yeah. This fucking thing. But anyways... Let's see what they're at right now. And look at the, look at this. The dislike ratio is high. Oh my God. <laughs> it is still going down. Isn't this a grand old time?
Yeah, anyways, that's it for now. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak out. Bye. Divina, sí. <laughs>